Welcome everyone to a riveting exploration titled Decoding the End, Fascinating Insights into Aging and Postmortem. Today, we embark on a journey through the final stages of life, shedding light on the intriguing phenomena of aging and postmortem. Some of the phenomenon are explained in this video. Let's get started with 1. The Aging Process Unveiled, our journey begins with a closer look at the aging process. From the cellular level to the visible signs on the surface, aging is a multifaceted phenomenon that impacts every aspect of our being. Through fascinating insights from researchers and experts, we uncover the mysteries behind the gradual decline of the human body over time. The aging process unveiled delves into the mysteries of getting older, shedding light on what happens to our bodies and minds as time passes. As we age, our bodies undergo various changes, both externally and internally. Our skin may develop wrinkles, our hair might turn gray, and our muscles may lose some of their strength. Internally, our organs may not function as efficiently as they once did, leading to potential health issues. Additionally, our cognitive abilities may decline slightly, affecting memory and processing speed. Despite these changes, aging is a natural part of life and understanding the process can help us adapt and maintain our well-being as we grow older. 2. Understanding the Physiology of Aging From the role of genetics to environmental factors, a myriad of influences shape the way our bodies age. Through scientific breakthroughs and cutting-edge research, we gain a better understanding of how and why certain changes occur. Understanding the physiology of aging is like peeking into the secrets of growing older. Our bodies change as time goes by, and knowing how and why these changes happen can help us navigate the journey of aging more smoothly. Picture it as a fascinating exploration of how our cells, tissues, and organs transform over the years. With each passing day, our skin loses some of its elasticity, our bones may become a bit weaker, and our muscles might not be as robust as before. But fear not, for understanding these changes can empower us to make informed choices about our health and lifestyle. So, let's embark on this journey together, unraveling the mysteries of aging one step at a time. 3. The postmortem phase, we unravel the intricate process of shutdown that occurs after death. From the cessation of bodily functions to the onset of decomposition, the journey from life to death is marked by a series of fascinating phenomena. Through expert analysis and first-hand accounts, we gain insight into the remarkable transformations that occur in the absence of life. 4. Immediate Changes Let's start with the immediate changes that occur in the body upon death. From the cessation of brain activity to the halting of heart function, the body undergoes a sudden transition. Immediately after death, the body undergoes several rapid changes as it begins to shut down. One of the first changes is called pallor mortis where the skin becomes pale due to the loss of blood circulation. This occurs within minutes after death as the heart stops pumping blood throughout the body. Simultaneously, a process called algor mortis sets in, causing the body's temperature to drop gradually to match the surrounding environment. This cooling process is a result of the cessation of metabolic functions that generate heat. 5. Rigor mortis One of the earliest signs of postmortem changes is rigor mortis. Discover how this process causes muscles to stiffen and its significance in forensic investigations. Rigor mortis is a term used to describe a natural process that occurs in a body after death. When someone passes away, their muscles gradually become stiff and rigid. This happens because the body stops producing the energy needed for muscles to relax. Rigor mortis typically begins within a few hours after death and can last for up to 48 hours. During this time, the body becomes stiff and difficult to move. It usually starts in the smaller muscles before spreading to larger ones. After reaching its peak, rigor mortis gradually fades away as the body starts to decompose. Understanding rigor mortis is important in forensic science to help determine the time of death in investigations. 6. Liver mortis. Explore liver mortis. Liver mortis refers to a natural process that occurs in the body after death. When a person dies, blood stops circulating causing gravity to pull it down toward the lower parts of the body. This results in a reddish-purple discoloration in those areas where blood settles, creating what is commonly known as livor mortis, or lividity. It usually becomes noticeable within two to four hours after death and becomes more pronounced over time. The color of liver mortis can provide clues to forensic investigators 
about the position of the body after death. For example, if a person dies lying on their back, the backside of their body will show more pronounced lividity. However, if the body is moved or shifted before liver mortis sets in completely, the patterns of discoloration may change accordingly. 7. Algor Mortis The cooling of the body after death plays a crucial role in estimating the time of death. Uncover how factors like ambient temperature influence this process. When someone passes away, their body begins to lose heat gradually. Essentially, after death, the body temperature starts to decrease until it reaches the ambient temperature of the surroundings. The rate of cooling can be influenced by various factors such as the environment, clothing, and body size. Forensic experts use mathematical formulas and tools to calculate the time elapsed since death based on the body's temperature. By measuring the body's temperature and considering these factors, they can approximate the time when death occurred. Al Gore mortis is just one of the many indicators forensic scientists use to piece together the timeline of events surrounding a person's death. Understanding this process helps investigators uncover crucial details in criminal investigations and provide closure for families. 8. Decomposition begins. Delve into the early stages of decomposition where bacteria and enzymes begin breaking down tissues. Witness the remarkable transformation that marks the beginning of decay. Decomposition in a dead body is a complex and fascinating process orchestrated by a myriad of biological and environmental factors. As life ceases, the body transitions from a state of organization to one of disintegration, marking the beginning of its return to the elements. Decomposition unfolds in distinct stages, each characterized by unique biochemical processes and observable changes in the body's appearance. 9. Putrefaction Putrefaction marks a pivotal stage in decomposition, characterized by the release of gases and the bloating of the body. Explore how this process accelerates the breakdown of tissues. Putrefaction is a natural process where organic matter, like food or animal remains, decomposes. When something undergoes putrefaction, it starts to break down into simpler substances due to the action of bacteria and other microorganisms. You might have noticed this process if you've ever left food out for too long and it starts to smell bad and change color. During putrefaction, gases are released, causing the characteristic foul odor associated with rotting. This process plays a crucial role in nature by recycling nutrients back into the environment. While putrefaction may seem unpleasant, it's an essential part of the cycle of life, helping to break down organic matter and return its nutrients to the earth for new life to grow. 10. Autolysis Autolysis, or self-digestion, occurs as enzymes released after death begin to break down cells. Understand the role of autolysis in the overall decomposition process. Imagine tiny workers inside the cell going around, breaking down and recycling old or damaged parts. These workers are actually enzymes, special proteins that act as molecular scissors. They cut up the cell's components into smaller pieces so they can be reused. Autolysis helps keep the cell healthy by getting rid of things that could harm it. It's like tidying up a messy room to make it clean and functional again. So, in simple terms, organic material and the emergence of skeletal remains, microbial activity diminishes, and the body's decomposition rate slows as resources become scarce. Finally, the remains enter the dry remain stage where only skeletal elements remains. 11. Forensic Applications Discover the forensic significance of post-mortem changes. Learn how forensic experts utilize evidence of body changes. Forensic applications of post-mortem changes are invaluable in unraveling the mysteries surrounding a person's demise. Liver mortis, rigor mortis, algor mortis, and decomposition stages provide critical clues for forensic investigators to reconstruct the events leading to death. As we conclude our journey, we reflect on the intricate processes that unfold within the body after death. Through understanding these phenomena, we gain deeper insights into the fragility and resilience of life itself. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of what happens to the body when we die. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content.